Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am here today. I'm going to make some over the page belly bands for uh, these journals that we're working on. We'll get to that in a second. I want to say hi and hugs to Connie Jean, Lynn, Cheryl, and Deb. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Okay, I want to show you these real quick first. Um, I... This one's the same, but these two, I just added little words from the kit, squash garden and blooming flowers. And then I got these two done. So um, I did the, on the sunflower, lazy days, and then fluttering butterflies. And then I put the um, nouveau glaze on the butterfly in the middle of the flower. So I wanted to show you those so I could set them aside before I goober them up. Because we can't have that. These are leftover pieces. Okay, let's get busy with this. So, Graphic 45 used to be my favorite scrapbook paper um, before Blue Fern and Stamperia came along. <laughs> But it is brighter colors. And so I grabbed a couple pads here um, of the papers just to see. Let's see, that's all stickers. But could go well with this maybe. Um, yeah, they're brighter colors. So I thought they might be good. I don't know if I want this one or this one here. That has not even been opened. I kind of was saving this one for a five-hole binder journal. But, you know, as of late, I'm about using our stuff because either, either we end up, you know, it's not our favorite anymore or something. And then it's like, well, that was wasteful. <laughs> and there is two pages in each. So I just wanted to look. Yes, these are B's. I thought they were bees. So we might do that one first. Let's do that one. We'll toss these papers down kind of on the floor and see what other ones. So anyways, let's do this thing. Okay, so I grabbed out of my um out of my idea journal this over the page belly band. So in your signature it just goes like so and then you can put stuff under there you can put stuff under this side um and i must have made this with the leftovers i don't know maybe yeah it looks like i did so let's let's try and recreate that i have all the um measurements and stuff so we should be able to do that without too much trouble i don't think i need my ruler so i'm gonna get rid of it um, yeah, so this will be fun. And I, I know I have, I've made them before, but it's been a while. And I don't remember if it was Patreon or YouTube where I made them. And I haven't talked about it for a long time, but I wanted to, uh, mention Patreon because, you know, um, there are a lot of videos over there that I don't do over here on YouTube. So, uh, like, there's 70 some videos out there, which is a pretty good bargain for what you pay to be a member. <laughs> um, there are different levels, of course, but um, the the entry level is pretty reasonable. Okay, let's just and it's just Gail Augustinelli over on Patreon. Links always in the description box below. Uh, belly band, three and a half inches. And where to score? Okay, so three and a half inches. So let's just do that. Look at, there's a cute B. There's, yeah, this is great. Okay, we're gonna do three and a half first. I'll go here. Three and a half is about right there. Okay, so then we'll score that. And then the um, 
this this paper here eight by four and a half so if we go four and a half here and then eight let's, see, let's go this way that way no let's go this way by eight four and a half by eight inches of course okay all right oh and i first learned this i should say uh from clardy crafty hands so um that's that's where i first saw this uh so okay we'll make this one and then we'll pick the four other papers and we'll kind of try and do a little bit of a mass make on it okay i'm in around the corners of this first so this is the four and a half by eight. And we'll decide which, which way we want this to go. Okay, now, scoreboard. Now our strip, we want to pop it this way on our scoreboard and we want two inches for our pocket we want uh okay two inches for the pocket and then we're gonna go 10 inches oh i'm sorry 10 and a half inches plus one tick <laughs> so i have it okay so then that should fit over uh eight and a half by 11 piece of paper yes okay now what I want to grab is my punch for the pocket uh, this one I think and I'm gonna also grab an edge punch because I didn't edge punch this one but I like it punched okay so this is gonna be our pocket I'm going to keep this side because it's got the big B's on it. So we've determined that. Okay, there's that. And then, you know what? I have got my basket so far away, I can hardly reach it. I need to rearrange slightly. There we go. Okay. And then um, pop this away. But that's why the next four we're going to do as a mass make because it'll go, it'll go quickly to do, you know, to do four at once. We'll do the cutting and we'll do the scoring and then the punching. Okay. So we have this. Okay, I'll just set that there. Let's get rid of all the crumbs. I need a good mat's cleaning is what I need. Okay, so this I think we'll we'll do this way, like that. So that's gonna be our belly band. Okay, let's do the inking real quick. I don't even know. Yeah, it does show up. I wouldn't wouldn't have thought it would show much, but it does. Kind of gives it a little edge. I'm not sure it's going to do a lot on that, so I think I'll use um, vintage photo on the B side. Okay. That's nice on there. <clears throat> and I do think this will go just fine with the digital. So that'll be good. Okay, so there's that. So gluing wise, let me use my book. We 
kind of center this piece where we want it and then we glue so because you're not going to glue down by your crease because if you do that then you're going to um it's not going to fit over your page so you really you go up you go up a ways you don't and then make sure yeah that you have no glue down there okay and then this side again we'll go up a ways and i like to just do the sides so it makes it an up tuck if you so desire i don't know if i so desire until until i start decorating probably oh isn't that so fun that's very pretty i like that okay let's do the pocket quick and so let's see the leftover strips so score you need the scoreboard in order to score so we score this at score this at one and a half four and five and a half i haven't made one of these for a while so <laughs> let's see if i can remember what i did here um yeah, I just thought with the leftover, we might as well make kind of a matching pocket, if you will. Okay, so that is going to be a pocket. This and this. Fold. Okay, so we fold, we fold the farthest one away that way. Then we fold this up like this. And um, where's my example? And so you have two little pockets like that. And then with this, we're going to cut it in half and make a tag, make two tags for the pocket. Okay, so let's see. I am going to kind of give that a little punch. And then try and line this up and give it a little punch. Close enough is what I say. We have a little circle. Nope, we have a little eyeball. <laughs> I'm not keeping it. Okay, so let's... I'm going to distress this before I glue it. And then we'll pick papers out for the other ones. Um, yeah, the one, though, my one journal is kind of sunflowers. I just don't think I have any sunflowery paper. But I think one of these will be fine, too. Let's see. Let's, I think I want these to be snipped. Okay. So there's our little pocket. Let's um, glue it and then we will cut those tags. So we can just glue the sides here like so. And then glue these sides. And there we go we have just a, a double pocket but it's a nice size one so it's going to take up a good bit of the page you know oh and then we gotta sorry gotta do this too on that side Out, or else it's flappy <laughs> probably you'd get it when you put it down but oftentimes with these i like to put them on the page and maybe go a little off center and just glue here, here, and here so this whole part can be a tuck. So, okay, and then, oh gosh, a little pin. 
giving me grief. Let's see. So then this we need to cut in half. Just pop that in half. And this is what? This is about four inches. So let's just go at two. And then we have a couple of, we can make a couple little tags to go in here. Like that. Fun. So that's the project. That is the project. And so we are going to pick out some papers for the other four. Yay. Okay, that one's done. Um, let's see. Not done. It needs to be decorated, but... You know, the base is done. Uh, let's see what we have down here in these papers. Okay, so farm. Oh, the farm one. Why don't we get something out of the farm? Where is my farm thing? Oh, did I put it back up? I did. Can you talk amongst yourselves for a minute? Here I come. I keep putting it away because it's because it's in my way. <laughs> and, then, and then I want it again. So what I have. Oh, I don't have I don't have double sided farm. I have only I do have this coffee dyed farm, however. I'm kind of wondering about this green one. This guy. In, I think that'll work. We're going to try it. Okay. So that one. And then there's the farm. Then we've got the B one we've got already. I'm going to set it in its tub. And we have this one is next. So let's see. Isn't that pretty? Um, I think, you know, something in this one will go with this. Let's see. Butterflies. Oh, let's do the butterfly one. Is this it? Wow, there's two butterfly. Well, hmm, there's two butterfly ones. Where's the other butterfly one? Feel like, feel like, oh, but then it's got the yellow. I was going to say it's too dark for this. No, it's not speaking to me. I think we'll do this one for the butterflies. So we'll have the farm, the butterflies, and then, and then the, um, what you call it? Sunflowers. And I just don't think I have any. Oh, that doesn't look bad though, does it? Yeah, I think that one's okay for this one. Okay, and then the last one is this one which has um that in it anyway okay it's these yeah it's got the the reds and the blues and greens um i'm kind of feeling that one that we did on the other one but let's see what's this one might not be bad because I'd want I want different ones kind of. Yep, I'm gonna use that one for that one. Okay, got our papers. Now we can go go go. We can mass make these babies. Okay, so let's do the farm one first because I'm really curious to see how this is gonna turn out with the coffee dye on the one side. Okay, so we go 
go three and a half, right? So there's three and a half for that part. Then we go four and a half. This is for our pocket by eight, right? By eight, yes. Okay, real quick like while I've got this out, I'm gonna cut that, this in two also for our tags. Okay, well, while this is out, we'll cut everything, right? So pocket, oh no, we just score that. So this is pocket, this is belly band. Okay, I'm just gonna set those aside and we'll just keep cutting. We'll cut, then we'll score, then we'll put together. Okay. That branding strip off of there. Okay, so then let's go with our three and a half. Three and a half. And four and a half. And eight. I'm going to cut off that flower because that could be a cute tag. Okay. There's our belly band. Here's our tags. And here's our pocket. Okay, there's that one. This one. This off of there. And three and a half. Three and a half. Four and a half. By eight. Our tags. See how you kind of get in a rhythm? And our pocket. Okay. And then lastly, we've got this pretty one. That three and a half. Four and a half. By eight. And two inch tags. Whoops. Pocket. Okay, so now we'll get out the scoreboard and we'll score everything. Okay. So for our belly band, we go to the bottom and do two inches, two inches, and then we go to ten and a half and one tick. So that's that. Then our pocket, we go, what do we do? We do one and a half, we do four, and we do five and a half. Wobies, five and a half. Okay, so there's that one all scored. Now go to this side. <laughs> okay, and then over here, we're going to do the belly band at two and ten and a half and a tick. 
out of the pocket. One and a half. Four. Five and a half. The writing's going to be upside down, but we'll just have to decorate the pocket. Okay, so two, ten and a half, and one tick. And this one we are going to do one and a half, four, and five and a half. My tags are different sizes, but oh well. <laughs> that don't matter. Whoops. Sorry, I'm throwing things on the floor. Okay, then this one, which I'm so interested to see what it's going to be like. We have this that we are going to go to for the pocket. And ten and a half and one tick. There. And then pocket one and a half four and five and a half. You kind of have to smooth it down because the coffee dyeing has made it wrinkly. Okay, so now we are to folding and um, folding, inking, and gluing. So let's do the belly band first on this one. So we've got our pocket. We've got our that. So we're going to just punch. And I'm going to do this. Actually, in the spirit of mass making, I think I'm going to go through and and punch all of the pieces. While we have the punches out. Okay. So there's that for the belly band. This is gonna go up and like that. Punch and punch. Okay, that was all ready to go. Okay, let's look at this one. This is the pocket, so that's going to go up. And that's going to go like that. So, punch and punch and then this is pocket there. that one. I'm going to set it over here. Okay, this one. Let's do the pocket. Let's go up. Ooh, that's a pretty one. I like the yellow down at the bottom. Flying right at me and onto the floor. That's all right. I'll pick up after. <laughs> and this. 
this is the pocket. Like that. And want it this way. Yeah. Okay, so punch. My braids go into decorating already. Can you believe it? Uh, yeah, I bet you can. got writing too so we're gonna have to have to do a little decorating which we would have anyway so no biggie way <laughs> okay there's that one Okay, so we're all done punching. Now we can get our punches out of our way. Might still need that. Get all our crumbs. Okay, now let's do this one. So now we get to do the inking, decide which ink to use and do the I'm excited about this one for the farm. I think that this will be great. Really, you can't, can't really, I forgot to punch this, didn't I? Did you say that? You probably did. You probably did. And I need to do all of these too. Excuse the beep every now and again. My husband's trying to fix our crazy smoke alarm that keeps beeping all the time. He went and got new batteries for it. Okay, so, so that's, that's already. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to want this this way. Right? Because I want that side to be like that. And then, so this, now I could just go like that. Don't love it. But if I go like this, it can actually be written on. So I like that idea a lot. So let's do it that way. I don't know if we'll get these all done in an hour, but I feel like we've made a good start, haven't we? see really it's just where the white is that needs a little something okay okay so once again we are going to center this then glue it Okay, so there's the farm one. 
ready to be decorated up. Here is this one. So we're just going to quick like do all the sides. Okay. Nice. Okay. Farm one done. Except for we need to do our little tags. Did I do tags on the other one? Oh, I just left them. I think that's what I'll do. I'll just leave them in the pocket. Okay, so we have our belly band and our pocket for the farm. Now. What, let's see, so, and what was next? Is this the butterfly one? I think so. Yes, so, this one is next. Just pull it out. Okay. I'm gonna do a little rounding. And I'm gonna round the top of my, did I do that on that one? I did. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go this way with this one because that's super pretty. And so then this is going to go this way. So that'll be good. All righty then. Um, is that going to show? Okay. You know what I think I'm going to use on uh, this one is walnut stain. Whatever it is. There it is. Just because it's awfully dark. Okay, and then right here. side here. I, I guess it doesn't really need it because this will be on it. What, right? Okay, this side needs it though. I do think that's super pretty. Okay, and then There's that. We'll be like that. This needs the white kind of taken off there. I could see this green and blue butterfly up here having nouveau crystal glaze on it. I could see that happening. Okay, so we're to gluing. Let's just glue the pocket since we have it in our hands. I wish that flower could have shown, but it's gonna be in the pocket. Okay, 
pocket. Now this guy, that kind of centered both ways, really centered this way and this way. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, there's that one, the butterfly one. And the little tags can be done when we start decorating. Okay, and next is the sunflowery one, which I think was this one. Oh, we better put this on, huh? Okay, so this will go this way clip you it's nice too because it uses up a whole 12 by 12 I mean you don't have any scraps which I mean we all love scraps so I don't know why that seems like it's a good thing but I think I'm going to do the yellow on this one <laughs> Just a bit where it's lighter, I think. I'm not going to really see it where it's dark. Okay, and then this will be this way. And the yellow is really nice. Yellow on yellow it just frames it out. time-wise. Oh, ho, ho, we just may make it. Okay, so we're going to go middle with this. Yes, I do believe we're going to make it. It's exciting. No decorating, but you know, that will be for another day. that one that one's cool I love that and then maybe we can use some of the um, sunflower ephemera fussy cut things um, to give it a little more put it a little more in theme I guess you could say you know what I could do is just nope I can't never mind Okay. Oh, you know what? I didn't get any right there. There we go. It's amazing how much difference, especially on art glitter glue that dries so quickly. 
uh, pressing it down with something, you know, a credit card or like my little doohickey. Um, it's amazing the difference that makes. Okay, and there's the little cards to go in it. Okay. And last but not least, there's this one. So, boy, that one's going to have to be a little walnut stain too, I think. And really, it's just going to show in spots, I feel like. really all it is is um, getting the white from cutting the paper not to show for the most part let's see from this one so all our corner chomping is done okay I did have some questions about my corner chomper and it is um, it is Cropodile brand. That's what it is. Ooh, these are going to be fun to decorate, aren't they? Kind of excited for that part. Okie dokie, then this is going to go this way, so it just needs a quick get the white off the edge is really all it needs. Okay. All right, here we go. Glueage. And then we can decorate them all. That'll be fun. But let's see. Tomorrow is Mixed Media Monday, and I have a plan for that. So that does not involve this. So we'll take a little break from our, uh, our um, Summer's Bloom, Summer's Bounty. Jeez. <laughs> Summer's Bounty Journals. We'll take a little break from them for Mixed Media Monday. Okay, so there's that. Then I think I need a new page. And we'll center this up. About right there. Sorry, I know I might be off camera for this, but I had moved my moved my book down a little. Okay. This will be fun with a decoration on it, I think. Okay. There we go. You guys, we did it. We got all five done today. Just wasn't sure if we could pull it off, but we did. Yes. Okay. So there you have it. Not only did we make the um, over-the-page belly bands, but we also made the pockets and have some tags to play with, too. So fun, 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 fun. All right, let's see, where are we? We're a little bit early, but we're at a good stopping point. So I think we will just um, put this back in the idea folder. I have the pocket tucked under the belly band in my idea folder or idea journal. So there you go. Over the page belly bands and... Um, and all. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a grateful day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!